Okay, let's quickly re revise the next topic, which is Kaizen costing. Kaizen costing should not take more than three minutes. Okay, Kaizen costing. What is a Kaizen costing definition? It's a small, small incremental change, incremental changes routinely applied over a long period of time. Small incremental changes routinely applied over a long period of time, which results in a significant improvement. So it's a small incremental changes routinely applied over a long period results in significant improvement. Significant improvement. This is the definition of Kaizen costume. So what are the principles? There are a few principles in Kaizen costume. Principles. First, it is gradual improvement because it, you are applying over a long period of time. So it is a gradual improvement. Gradual improvement. The second the second principle is it's a collective decision it's not individual decision it is a collective decision collective decision related point one more it involves all the employees how do you take collective decision by involving all the employees so it's a gradual improvement collective decision and it involves all the employees then setting standards it sets it sets what standards and continually improves on this on the standards so it's setting standard. It sets standards and continually improves. First you have to set standard now where to where you have to reach. And based on that you will improve yourself. So setting standards and continually improving. Then it eliminates the waste. It will eliminate wastes, improving systems and improving productivity. Improving systems and improving productivity. It eliminates the waste by improving systems and improving productivity. It involves all employees and no limits to the level of improvement. There is no limit. You can go to any extent. The Ford example that we saw, there was 75% of reduction, 75% of reduction of employees when they applied this um, Kaizen costing, right? Not Kaizen costing, uh, this one, radical, that business re-engineering. So, for Kaizen costing also, there is no um, collective, there is no limit. The next topic is 5S. This should also not take more than 3 minutes. Let's start. 5S. So, what are the 5S? Sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. Okay. You have to rem remember, uh, you know, 3-3 three, three things in each point. Let's start with sorting. So, what happens in case of sort? When you are sorting, you have to remove the obstacles. Remember this this diagram. So first thing, when you are doing the sorting, I'm, yeah, you are able to see, right? So yeah, when you are removing, when you are sorting something, so first thing is remove obstacles. <coughs> remove all the obstacles. Second thing is, please take a picture of this. Okay. So let's start. So first thing is, you have to remove obstacles. Then unnecessary items should be removed. Then third thing is prevent accumulation of unnecessary items. You should first remove obstacles. Unnecessary items should be reduced and accumulation of unnecessary items should be reduced. Second thing, set in order. How do you set in order? Arrange necessary items. First thing, you have to sort unnecessary items. Now you arrange only the necessary items. Necessary items, how do you arrange it? Using FIFO method, first in first out, which is very useful. Then third one is according to their uses and frequency. Imagine you use the scissors, knife, everything at kitchen. Uh, you know very often so that's why you keep it in such a place where it is accessible to you so it is uh, arranged based on its frequency of use correct so first uh, set in order me there are three things one is arrange necessary items based on FIFO method and based on its frequency then shine in case of shine there are two things that you have to remember one it is three things actually one it is daily cleaning should happen uh, in case of shine otherwise it will not shine na? If you clean every day, that's why it shines. So daily cleaning or the cleaning should happen on a daily basis. And safety is something very important that you have to uh, you know pay attention to. Then third thing is when there's a danger, you should be able to you know uh, detect the danger at least by 50 feet away. So this is the shine. Then fourth one is standardize. How do you stand? What do you standardize? The best practices. The best practices will be standardized and every process will have its own standard and you set the high standard obviously we always try to look we have always look at the high standards correct so you uh, set the high standard next sustain in case of sustain there are three things that you have to remember what is that sustain me training and discipline should be maintained so if you train the employees to sustain something they will do it then do without being said do without being told then training at results on monthly basis you should review them on a monthly basis these are the five things that you have to remember in sort set in order shine standardize and sustain the next topic is total productive maintenance this should also not take more than three minutes let's start so what is total productive maintenance maintaining and improving the integrity of the production and quality system 
it is maintaining and improving maintain improve the integrity of the production and quality systems okay how tpn can be introduced in the organization how can you introduce in four stages one is preparation stage introduction stage implementation stage institutionalizing stage four p triple i p triple i p preparation stage introduction stage implementation stage institutionalizing stage okay these are the four stages okay there are eight pillars in tpm what are the eight, eight pillars the code word for this is apq maintenance e fos apq e fos a a stands for automate uh, automated uh, auto autonomous maintenance autonomous maintenance planned maintenance quality maintenance then e e fos e stands for early management early management then education and training then f f stands for focused improvement which is kaizen then e fos o office maintain office tpm then e fos s then it is safety health and environment these are the eight pillars of tpm in tpm one of the most important topics is oee so let's do what let's see what is oee a p q again a into p into q what is that availability performance and quality availability should be more than 90% then performance should be more than 95% and quality should be more than 99% total oee should be greater than or equal to 85% then there are six big big losses in oee measure what are those equipment failure or breakdown then setup or adjustments idling and minor stoppages reduced speed reduced yield quality defect and rework how do we remember this six big losses in o, uh, in the oee first one is equipment when you are producing first one is equipment machinery equipment itself is breaking down then the setup the setup what you have done for the machinery that is also gone setup or adjustments then idling and minor stoppages stop it stopped completely so idling and minor stoppages all these three things are related to machinery correct so one is equipment failure setup uh, uh, the setup or adjustments then idling idling stopped completely idling and minor stoppages then reduced speed reduced yield reduced speed reduced yield then quality defects and rework quality defects and rework and we have to solve this illustration too which is really important then uh, once we do that let's move on to the next one okay done there's one one last thing connection between tqm and tpm which you can remember